The Girl in the Lewandowski Top by Tom Palmer. Chapter One, Food. Archie Gray caught sight of a flash of white as he was waiting in the queue for his school dinner. It was unmistakably a football shirt, white with a red collar and trim, and a word on the back. L E W. Archie looked closer. L E W A N D. O W S K I Lewandowski. It was definitely a home Poland top. A Lewandowski Poland top. Archie had no doubts about that as he manoeuvred to get a better look at it. And there he saw a girl. A girl in a Lewandowski top. The girl was quite tall with shoulder length hair. She was at the counter being served by the dinner ladies. Archie couldn't quite believe the scene he saw before him. The dinner ladies were piling mashed potato onto the girl's plate. Two dollops. You only ever got one at this school. And hang on, hang on, no way. The girl was holding a mobile phone and glancing at it as she spoke. This and the girl was being allowed to wear a football top at school. Extra food, a football top, a mobile phone in school. How come she was allowed them? Archie's mind fizzed with outrage as he followed the queue to the counter. When he reached the dinner ladies and was given one dollop of mashed potato, he felt so cross he thrust his tray out again. The dinner lady shook her head. Only one for you, Archie. Move on. That girl in the football top got two, so I want two, Archie demanded. I want to know why she's allowed to use a phone and she's allowed to wear a football top. It's not fair. The dinner lady sighed. Come here, she said, and walked round the back of the counters where she squatted down in front of him. Archie felt a sense of dread that he'd stepped out of line, done something wrong. The dinner lady explained. Were you in the assembly when Mrs Bamford told us about the Ukrainian refugee children who were coming to the school? What did that have to do with anything? Archie wondered. But he nodded because he had been. Well, that girl I served with extra mash was Miroslava. She's the older refugee in year five. Her brother, Ali Khan, is in year three. They arrived from Poland at the weekend with their mum and their grandma, who was very old and frail. And I gave Miroslava extra potato because she went for days with barely any food before she came to the UK. Oh, she said. And... He felt like everyone was staring at him, even though they weren't. I'm sorry, he continued, but he still couldn't help himself asking another question. So why is she allowed to use a phone? We're not allowed. The dinner lady shook her head. Archie, lad, just listen to yourself. You don't know anything about this family, what their needs are. No food, no dad. Why do you think they need phones? Archie shrugged. To phone their dad. Where is their dad? The dinner lady frowned. Ask your mum about their dad, she said. Her face clouded over. Look, Miroslava uses her phone to translate what she wants to say. She speaks into it in Ukrainian and it displays what she wants to say to us in English. You see, there's a reason for everything, Archie. We might not always know what the reason is, but we must always give people the benefit of the doubt. Do you understand? Archie nodded. So, uh, do you, do you know why she was wearing a Lewandowski top? He asked. The dinner lady smiled. That, I don't know. But like I said, I'm sure there's a reason for it. Archie walked home feeling conflict emo emotions. One was shame that he'd been so quick to get cross about the girl in the Lewandowski top, not knowing she was a refugee from the war in Ukraine, not knowing anything except he wanted more mashed potato. The other emotion Archie felt was fascination. The girl who wore the football top of one of the best footballers in the world, Robert Lewandowski. Someone Archie had read a book about even. He wanted to know why she wore it. Robert Lewandowski was Polish. The girl was Ukrainian. It was a footballing mystery. Archie went home fast, shouted hello and raced upstairs to his room, chased by Jim his dog, who ran alongside, then ahead of him, leaping onto his bed, 
thumping his tail on the duvet. Archie quickly found his Robert Lewandowski book from the Ultimate Football Hero series by Matt and Tom Oldfield and leafed through it. An old match attacks card of the Polish and Bayern Munich striker fell out. Archie wished he had a Poland top two. But now Archie's mind was whirling with questions about this girl. He had seen the, the war in Ukraine on the TV, about how the Russians had invaded Ukraine and millions of refugees had been forced to leave their homeland. All of them leaving their houses, their schools, their friends, their families. Archie had always thought that Ukraine was so far away that it had barely anything to do with him. That was all it was, a war in a country a long way away. But now this girl had turned up, a refugee at his school. Archie wanted to know who this girl was, how she had got here, where was her dad, what had happened to her home, and most of all, why was she wearing a Lewandowski top? And that's the end of chapter one.